Hey, what's up? It's Monday, and I'm starting a new painting. This is how a painting starts. I kind of feel like I wish I was like an abstract painter, because then the painting would be done. So a few weeks ago, I put out a survey and had over 90 people respond to this survey and it was super helpful to give me some insight on pricing my art, what type of art and products to provide, also what people want to see on the vlog. And one of the topics that came up on the survey that people want to see on the vlog that I didn't really think people really cared that much about, I've always tried to keep this vlog more like the personal side of who I am and and why I create art, but it seems like a lot of people are interested in the how and want to see the process of, of making the art. So this vlog is going to be a little bit more dedicated to that. So one of the artists that I really like and I draw a lot of inspiration from is Franz Klein. If you know that and you see my paintings, you could probably see where I'm stealing ideas from him from or how I'm stealing ideas from him. But uh, one thing that I do to try to replicate him, I don't know how he painted. I don't really know much about him. I just think his paintings look really cool. So. His paintings have a lot of just black and white, but the whites are never white. It's always like shades of white, and I always thought that was kind of cool. And another inspiration from that I draw from for my paintings is just like old weathered signs that you see like down on the boardwalk and down on the docks and stuff. So um, um, there's no like bright white signs as well. So um, taking those two things and pulling from them is a large part of what I do. So. The way I do it, and I don't know if this is the right or wrong way, but it works for me, is I have <clears throat> So the way I do it is I take these these cups um and I take uh, white paint and I pour a little bit of white paint into each one of these cups and then I add into the white paint little hints of color like a little bit of yellow a little bit of orange a little bit of red a little bit of blue uh, depending on um whatever i'm doing and that gives me like an off white and then i start like building up the texture so as you saw at the start of this video i put like a bright red color i usually start with like a bright red or a bright orange and that's like the base color and then i start painting over it with these like off white and that gives me kind of like a weathered layered texture so now we have some colors, different shades of like, these are actually a little bit dark because I didn't mix them right. Hmm. I can't find nothing to prop it up on this side. But if I shoot from this side, because the garage door's open, I guess it works. Then I go right to the white. It's still a bit too blue, but I'm still really early in the stage, and I really want this to be much more white. Um, um, but still really early. I'm gonna add some lettering, some stenciling, layer, and like tagging, layer. So we're still really early in to get too worried too much about the shade and the color, but this is the beginning of the texture. So hope that was helpful to kind of give you a little insight into the painting process for me. So the rest of the day, I'm just gonna be kind of layering these in. Layer, layer, adding some details, layer. Uh, so I'll probably end the video here now.